So LA City made a big deal about announcing 53 new apartments for the homeless after, they said it took seven years to get it approved. What's, what's keeping uh, the homeless on the streets moving from place to place rather than uh, getting cured? The Los Angeles County Public Health Department refuses to enforce the law that you're not supposed to be living on the streets, you're not supposed to be a health hazard with the defecations that take place, avoiding in the streets, the lack of sanitation, the spreading of disease. They, again, the public health department closes their eyes to enforcing the law. The city of Los Angeles, who built a few handful of apartments, that's a, a, one piece of sand in the desert. It does nothing. What they ought to be doing is putting their money into mandated mental health treatment and mandated drug rehabilitation for these young people that are addicted to drugs. That's what we need, that type of a funnel of effort and attack against homelessness, mental illness, and drug addiction. Do the insti such institutions exist already? There are public-private facilities that could do this and have resources that could expand the need for the need to treat these people. But closing your eyes to the problem and helping developers build new apartments or taking over hotels and making them into shelter for homeless is not resolving the issue of the 70,000 that we have on the street and growing. Is, how uh, much of a factor is the mental illness among the unhoused, as they call them? The majority are mentally ill, drug addicted. The economic poor, we can help. We can get them back on their feet. We have job training programs. They can be helped, but the mental ill and the drug abusers can only be helped through mandated treatment programs. What about those who are coming in now on buses from the southern border? They're coming in buses on, from the southern border because President Biden has opened our borders to have people come from all over the world without a health checkup, without a criminal crime background check, uh -huh, uh -huh. and allowing them to come and flood our areas. We have 85,000 children who are probably being trafficked because they're giving out to people who are not their parents. This is, this is a, a sin. We also have hundreds and hundreds of pounds of fentanyl being brought in, and we allow that to happen, to put our kids on drugs. We need a frontal attack on the cartels and closing the border until we have a system in place that, like many of our parents or grandparents had when they came in, they had to pass a health test, they had to fill out the forms to be approved, and then they came to our country from all over the world. We need to return to that common sense program. What, what about uh, today's the first day that they're eliminating bail on arrestees for uh, misdemeanor crimes? Because the whole system is based upon the criminal, not the victim. They're doing everything for the criminal and not the victim. This is a country built on due process. You give fairness for the crime that was committed, so you have a fair trial, and then when the judge makes the decision, they're either guilty or innocent. But we are now saying, you commit a crime, don't have to pay bail. You come into the country illegally, you don't really have to show up. If you do show up, that's in four or five years. They're not doing anything to expedite that. So the whole system is broken. There needs to be a change in Washington. There needs to be a change in Sacramento to get back to enforcing the law and having due process. Are these things related? Are they connected? Or are they just disparate uh, that seem to be contributing to the decay of uh, quality of living? Both. Both. Because all of these illegals that are coming in will be counted for population, and congressional districts are made by population, not by citizenship. So, anyway. They'll increase uh, uh, representation? Yes. In, in poor areas. Right. Democrat votes. That's why you, you look at the uh, how many votes Maxine Waters gets versus how many votes uh, Young Kim has to get in Orange County. Uh, for Maxine Waters, it's a handful of votes. Young Kim and Michelle Steele, they have to get thousands of votes to win their elections. So anyway, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay.